Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm back to show you the finished fudge product. And um, then I, I'm going to tell you something about it. Okay, so here it is. I made it early this morning. You know, I think it was a little after 7 I made it. Early this morning. And then I put it in the refrigerator for about 3 hours, I want to say. And um, this is what it looks like all finished. You can see the ones that have the walnuts in it. I've already been eating a piece. I have a piece here that I've been eating. It's very rich. So I don't cut it, you know, too, too big. But I want to show you what it looked like. And it's really good. But here's the thing. One of my subscribers, her name is Mary. She says she makes this, this fudge. But she uses two cups of the chocolate chips. And Mary, you're right. Because when I looked the recipe up to remember if there was anything different in it, because like I said, I hadn't made it for a while, it said three cups. And I was like, I don't remember doing that because when I used to make it back in the day, I used the one can of sweetened condensed milk and I used one package of the Nestle semi-sweet chocolate chips, which is two cups. So, yeah, Mary, you're right. Uh, I don't know why that recipe now is saying three cups, but it does. If you look it up, it says three cups of chocolate chips. But I, I remember, I kind of remember now that I only used one and one, and that's what made it so easy. And then with the vanilla, that you put the vanilla in after. And then walnuts, of course, if you want walnuts. So, yeah, I think when I make it again, I'm just going to use the one package of the chocolate chips, which is two cups, comes to, out to two cups, and then the one can. Mary, you're right. You're right. After you had um, did a comment under the video, I was like, you know what? That's how I used to make it. Yeah. So anyway, I want to throw that out there. So you can either try it the way they're, they're telling you on, on their site, or um, you could try it with just the one package of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, which is two cups, and then the one can of the 14 and some, a little over 14 ounce of the sweet and condensed milk. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way again, because it, the, the color of it too was, I believe, a little bit lighter than this I'm not sure don't hold me to that but when we made this back in the day anybody who came to the house left with fudge and chocolate chip cookies because that's what we made we made the Nestle's Toll House cookies and we made this fudge you know so I wanted to show you what that looked like and thank you Mary thank you because that sparked something and I was like yeah because there's no way that I was I would buy you know, a bigger bag. No, you're right. So thank you for sharing. And that's what I like about that. We all share and um, yeah. Now, I told you that I was crocheting a hat for someone that I'm gonna be sending out. Let me show you what the hat looks like. It's in gray. I crocheted it and it's a ponytail hat. And there's the hole for the ponytail right here. I did use an elastic in it. And I'm sure when the person sees this video, they'll know that it was made for them. I hope they do anyway. But um, there you go. That's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, well, I hope they watched my videos anyway, all of them. So anyway, I wanted to show you that hat. When I crochet or knit, I never, never, ever, a little thing about me with crocheting. I never make the same thing twice. I can't. I get bored with it too easy. Uh, I just can't like do the same thing twice. No, I can't. So whoever gets this hat, this is an original. I won't make this hat again. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I won't. I won't make it again. So and the same when I showed you the blankets that I made my two boys. They were two different, totally different patterns. Yeah. 
Same with scarves. If I make a scarf, I look for all different patterns in scarves and I make them all different. Yeah, I never, you know, you're never going to find the same thing twice. So here I'm making another scarf and this is crochet. And this is like a 3D pattern that I found online. Look at that. It's almost like, um, like doing two sides, but it's not. But look at that, that texture on that. This I'm making into uh, a cowl. And I'm going to show you why it's not finished. So anyway, it's going to go like this, right, when I'm finished with it. It's not attached yet. I am going to attach it at the bottom, but let me show you. So anyway, it's going to go like this. And I just think that is so pretty. Oh, I just love this pattern. Love this pattern. And of course, it's in the olive green and it's so cozy, but this is why it's not finished. <laughs> I don't know how I got myself into this mess but I did and that's why it's not finished and until I you know can sit down and have the patience to untangle this hot mess yeah then it'll be finished and I won't repeat this pattern either again like I said I only make uh I only make one you know and one and done that's it then a girl in work, she's having her first baby. She's having a baby girl. And uh, I'm making her a baby blanket because she said she didn't know anybody. You know, her grandmother had passed and everything and she doesn't know anybody that knits or crochets and she sees all her friends, you know, with handmade uh, blankets and stuff like that. So I told her I would make her one and I would make her a blanket. I don't know. I'm going to show it to you. I don't know if I'm liking this one or not. And this is the baby blanket. It's super cushy and soft. This is what it looks like so far. I'm on the second, second ball. At least this is easier to untangle because it's thicker. But anyway, this is what that looks like. And uh, the baby's going to be born in June. And... This is heavy, so I'm going to make her two. I'm going to make her this one for when the weather gets cold. And then I'm going to make her a lighter one, you know, for the, you know, for the cool, uh, cool summer nights or the early fall days. I'll make her one for the carriage. So anyway, I'm making that. But let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Should I like just, what do they call it? Frog it? Is that what you girls call it? I noticed that. I watch some of the crochet channels and I see frogging a lot. They have to frog it. Am I saying that right? I don't even know. But let me know if I have to do that to this. Yeah. So anyway, I wanted to show you what I was doing as far as knitting and crocheting. I wanted to show you the hat that I'm going to be sending out to someone who told me that they love the ponytail hats and they had long hair and um, yeah, and I did put an elastic in the top because that's how I like to make my ponytail hats with the elastic at the top. And I wanted to show you the fudge recipe one last time. Let me show you. That's what that looks like. And that's a lot. There's a lot in here. It's heavy. But thanks to Mary, you know, as I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, yeah, two cups of chocolate with that, with that milk. Yeah, so that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with two cups of the semi-sweet chocolate. I'm going to make another batch that way. And I want to see if that's more like what I made back in the day. So thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. I hope you're watching this video. And um, I just wanted to thank you so much for sharing. And that's what I like when you give comments and everything. We all share ideas and things like that. So, yeah, let me know what I should do with this. Should I frog it, if that's the word? <laughs> or should I keep continuing on with it? Let me know. Because I even told her, the girl at work, I said, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But anyway, yeah, 
that's it. It almost reminds me, I used to be a candy striper when I was a teenager. Does anybody remember a candy striper in a hospital? And we actually wore a uniform that was like pinstripe and it was pink and white and they called it candy stripe and we were called candy stripers. That's what that reminds me of. Maybe that's why I'm not feeling it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So I just wanted to come on and show you the fudge recipe um, and thank Mary for that. Thank you so much. And I wanted to show the hat that I'm going to be sending out uh yeah that i finally finished it this morning yeah so anyway i hope everyone has a great day i hope everyone has a great holiday i'm going to see if i can film any of my painting uh adventure that i'm going to have later on today and uh if not maybe on the ride or the ride back or something i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens and until next time Bye now.